thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It implies a political reality, an economic reality. It plays out in our schools. It plays out in our work. We are called to be instruments of God's love, to enter into the narrative of what is good and bad and to affect it. It may risk uh, comfort. It certainly will. It may risk our reputations. It may risk friendships. But guess what? Philippians 2, though he was in the form of God, he did not deem equality with God something we grasped at. He took on flesh and blood. We are called to do the same. We're called to do the same, and we do so from a, a place of reverential humility, of reverential, Lord, I need you. Lord, I want to be an example of your love. I want to have your heart for these people who are around me that are confused, who are struggling. Give me your heart for the family that's struggling with questions about life or abortion or divorce or these critical questions. May it not just be reduced to some kind of us against them. Lord, erase from us any kind of self-righteous indignation that makes us think we're better. Help us to open those doors. Open those doors and invite others to journey with us to a life, an abundant life. John 10.10 10, that you give us to fill our hearts, to make us mindful that we're not meant to walk about with anxiety. We're not meant to walk about with discord. We're meant to be filled and flooded with your Holy Spirit. Lord, fill my heart and my mind with an intuition of the privation of people in our lives that we can love them and love them back to life.